Well, hello and welcome to She Matters. It is so lovely to be with you live on this Thursday afternoon. But whenever you're watching us, whether you're watching us on a Sunday or a late night or some other time, we're really glad that you've joined us. And this week we have a change. And uh, Simone is uh, singing for a charity Christmas do. And uh, so do pray for her as she sings the day for a, a local charity called Collective Calling. And they collect for the poor and the needy in the area. So she'll be using her gifts there. And uh, blessing us with her beauty and her gifts is Melanie. How oh, are you? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> it's actually so weird to be on G Matters. I mean, I, I watch you three girls having your fun. <laughs> and then the odd guests. I think Nikki was uh, in she the last was. couple of weeks or whatever. She was. It's so lovely. Aww. I think this whole female thing is quite nice. But I, you do have some men viewers, I believe. We, we do. do. We do. We Sometimes do. they write in as well. We know that they secretly watch. I don't know whether they watch with their wives. I, some, I have some phone calls and they say, oh, yes, my wife was watching. I just happened to glimpse it. <laughs> well, um, I think today, don't you think today is perfect for men to watch? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so if you have a man in your life, <laughs> tell them to watch She Matters. <laughs> and Edith, it's so lovely to have you back how are you yeah, so it's been great to be back lovely to be with you Melanie and yes oh, good and yeah we do it we are praying for Simone we are she performs and I'm sure everything will go well absolutely and she yeah, will but just talking about men I know um, a single man who is one of our devoted fans and uh, he lives um, in England, and uh, yeah, he's a regular viewer. So oh, good. We oh, do well. have single men as well. Terence, <laughs> oh, Terence, hi. <laughs> Not just married men. <laughs> well, whoever you are, it's lovely to have you with us. And we're live if you're watching on a Thursday afternoon. So please do email in. It's live at revelationtv.com. And uh, we love to hear from you. We'll actually be talking about a very similar subject today and uh, Tuesday. So if you want to carry on emailing, we'll email if uh, we'll read out your email if we don't have a chance in this program on the next program. So today on the first real official Christmas She Matters, as you will see, it's Christmas on the Revelation TV set. Edith said, can we even fit the cushions on this week? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, excuse me, we've got a male right next to us here. Okay. I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> Take lots of notes. <laughs> so the subject for today, I'm going to read it out because it's important that we get it right. So I said uh, today we're going to be asking, do men and women approach Christmasly Christmas differently? And if so, why? Uh, so that do men and women approach Christmas differently? And if so, why? And uh, then we'll, on the uh, programme on Tuesday, we'll be talking about how we women can bring our unique gifts into making Christmas special. So, ladies, I just want to comment. I can just see the women grabbing their men, or the men grabbing. Right, we're going to write, and we're going to see the differences right now. So, yeah, it's going to be very intriguing. It is. It's going to be. I said uh, I was talking to my mum last night, and I said, oh, "What do you think, mum?" And she said, "Well, the men just. I think she's of another generation. She said the men just enjoy their Christmas dinner. They go out on Christmas Eve, buy the present." enjoy their Christmas dinner and that's it for them. So I said, well, I think it's a bit deeper than that. I hope it's a bit deeper oh, than I that. Oh, I think she's, she's very close to it. If you look at some of the statistics of, of the male-female thing of how different they are, and actually you're very lucky if he goes and buys the present really? and doesn't get somebody else to buy it. You know? No. Or you True. buy it for yourself and yes, oh, it's from me. Oh, I'm not even going to give anything away right now <laughs> about what happens in our family. <laughs> But of course we do. I mean, I think that's the thing as well. We're going to have to ask you, what about your husband, Edith? What is he like at present buying and Christmas giving? Mm, he does try. He does try. Uh, but I, I, as normal, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do most of the present buying. Uh, he does try and buy and surprise me. He does, does try he? very hard. Oh, he does bless sweet. him. I mean, I know it's like, oh, what am I going to get together this time? But he does try. Um, but and I'm I'm sure there are some men who aren't the typical. I'm sure that there, there are some men that aren't the typical men that do. Right. You know. So we're going to say from the beginning. Come on, men. I'm sure you're going to disprove us today. <laughs> okay. But from our experience, <laughs> we know that we do the shopping, we do the, the gift wrapping, we do we do most of it. Um, so um, we want the men to prove us wrong, really. Oh. <laughs> 
Ooh, <laughs> oh, there was a hilarious thing that I saw on Facebook and somebody uh, said, oh, my wife's been leaving ring catalogues all round the house <laughs> for Christmas. So I've just got her another catalogue because she obviously <laughs> likes catalogues. No. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. So tell me, Melanie, what do you think? Do men and women see Christmas differently? Well, because of my psychological background and especially now my uh, psychotherapy training, whatever that I'm doing, Apart from that, sometimes you just, you know, that the, the uh, you know, uh, men are from Venus, and, or no, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Mm -hmm. You know, if you kind of, if you've been married for uh, quite a while, uh, these things really do help because sometimes you just think, why doesn't he think like me? Yes. <laughs> you know, couldn't you have just gone and got that gift and, you know, what about a card? You don't write on a piece of paper. <laughs> anyway, so we're not going to give anything away about Kurt. But I have to say that most men make a, a huge effort. And, and it just, you know, I, I think I really give them credit for the fact that they've tried to find out what you like and they buy. I remember the one time Kurt bought me these earrings. He was so proud. And actually, they have very lovely earrings. And, you know, you, men don't always get it right unless you actually show them exactly what you want. <laughs> and then the wrapping and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully, you know, like in the shop, it's better just get it wrapped in the shop and then it kind of <laughs> looks a little more professional. I have seen some wrapping. <laughs> And uh, in, 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 my, in, my, in my zone of men, knowing men, and it's like, okay, who wrapped this? <laughs> no, but at least they tried. But of yeah. course, Kurt's a pastor. Yes. So he, do you, what do you do? You know, I mean, I think that the, uh, the whole thing about Christmas is that we do talk about giving gifts. Yeah. And, but of course, the whole real reason for Christmas is celebrating the birth of Jesus. Mm. Uh, so do you do anything like that on Christmas Day? What do you mean? Yeah, like a Christmas service or? Uh, usually, I mean, as a church, we don't do a service on Christmas because we believe that that's when the family should be together. They should be doing their own yes. uh, specific Christian rituals or whatever is important to them, enjoying family, taking time, because the day is very short. Yes. And, uh, you know, if you've got, uh, I mean, when it's not COVID and you've got a lot of people, um, everybody has to have time to, you know, open presents and love each other and eat together and everything. So we prioritize that as a family time, but we do do the Christmas um, service before. Yes. Uh, like the Sunday before. Yes. And, and then sometime a meal, it depends on who's needy. Sometimes we'll do, uh, you know, a meal. I know. But that's not about men. <laughs> Well, having maybe it is. I have to say, having known you and being part of your church, I think that we spent one Christmas together in church, yes. and uh, there were some people there, and some some men who didn't have anywhere to go. That's right. Uh, so, so sometimes it is. Um, I do. Uh, I wonder what men think about. What do you do at Christmas? Um, and uh, do you have men in your lives that are last minute? present buyers and I do think giving gifts at Christmas is something that we do that is alongside the birth of Jesus and recognizing the miracle men and women and Christmas yeah any other differences um, yeah I mean I, I think they're, they're quite happy for the most part to let let us just get on with it aren't they really just just let us do our, get our food and get our, our presents and um, yeah, as I say, Mike does try, he, he, he really tries, but a friend of mine, she's been married <laughs> 40 odd years and she said, I realised a few years ago that my husband does not take hints. Oh no! He does not take it, and I think I think that could be said of quite a lot of men, they do not take hints, we try and hint about presents. But, but why I, do we do that? I if know. we really know how men are, why are we even trying to hint? <laughs> you, sit, you sit them right down <laughs> or you look them straight in the face and you say, I would like some candles <laughs> and some chocolate for Christmas. Would that be okay? <laughs> right. Or I even send an email. Email works very well as well. <laughs> no! Yes, you absolutely. do You know, not. sometimes we have to adjust. I mean, Jackie, can I just share please, a couple of things? Please. So this guy, Bruce Salon, yeah. interesting name he i think he's a new blogger and he's just been uh, you know writing some things and he says this is the christmas ah. christmas men versus women i just thought after you gave me Please. the title i thought let's look at this so now of course i'm going to do a disclaimer this is not all men not all women he says that men hate shopping <laughs> <laughs> and he says that men look at the price tags w women look at uh, they, they like actually you know labels that it's a nice make or whatever the case is this is generalizing of course mm -hmm. uh, many men are usually happy with generic and then he then he specifically talks about women in Europe now women in Europe 
maybe living in a smaller space, are prepared to spend more money on one particular article than, than like filling their whole wardrobe with a lot of cheaper stuff. So that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And then she, she, he says, uh, men prefer to shop online, okay? They just want it done. Yes. But now, okay, this doesn't have to be generalizing, but you know, I was thinking about this. I was thinking, I don't know about you, you both of you ladies, when I shop, I want it to be an experience. Yeah. So maybe we can just talk about that. I don't know, oh, and yeah. I can carry on yeah. a little later with this stuff. Yeah. But yeah, for me, shopping, I like to shop with somebody so yeah. that I can like, oh, what do you think about this? I'm more of a person-to-person -person person, and I, I like the experience. So I'll remember last year, oh, I went shopping with Kurt, and we did this, and we had a little meal, and we had a drink, and he's like, oh, yeah, and we just <laughs> three hours trying to <laughs> shop <laughs> for whoever. <laughs> But, but I do allow him to sit outside the yes, shop. Almost. You know, like some people do yes. in Spain, we have that. that. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can sit outside. Yeah. 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 We have somewhere that we go and it says, this is the husband crush. <laughs> Please right. leave your husband <laughs> yeah. here while you're shopping. Oh. And in fact, I think that's the thing is that gifts are different for both of us. Yeah. I actually think we gift our men when we say, you don't have to come shopping that's or true. sit outside and read the paper. That is what is a yeah. gift to them. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that... So here's a question, do you prefer, when a man, would you prefer a man to get you what you want? Or would you prefer a man, oh, and have to tell him or email him, which I think is a <laughs> genius thing. Oh yes. <laughs> or would you prefer him to get you something that he thinks you want, get yeah. it wrong, but yeah. you know he's, he's put tried. the effort in? Yeah, I, I actually was thinking that this, um, this week, I thought, uh, yeah, I think it would be nice just to have a few little surprises. It, it doesn't have to be anything big, just some little surprises. Because oh. that, that's what I like, to, I, suppose, for, I suppose that's coming from my perspective. I like to do, yeah, a nice present, but just little surprises, things that they're not expecting. And, and that, I actually thought that this week. I thought that would be nice. Yes. I'm not into, into big presents, because we don't need big presents. Well. But I just thought that would be nice, little surprises. But do you, do you tell Mike... Do you give him a little list of perhaps what could maybe an idea <laughs> yeah. of the surprise? So yeah, if he asks me, I will. I will Ooh. give him some. I will. And uh, but I know it is. It is like a bit of a torture for them. <laughs> so say, oh, it's a Christmas present, and and he doesn't do any of the others. I mean, I don't know about Kurt, whether he buys for your children or, um, but he wouldn't. No. You know, I, I do it all for the for the family and um, mm. and even for the for the for the neighbours and things. Yeah. If you're a, a man out there, um, please let us know. Is Christmas really that bad for you? <laughs> um, is you know, is it really painful thinking about what to buy your siblings or your wife or whatever present? Are you delighted? Uh, that women take it over or would you like to have a go and uh, you think we're giving you a bit of a hard time and please let us know about uh, your men and uh, I know that your husband's an avid watcher so we bless you. Oh yes, yes. yes. So we're going to be very careful. No, <laughs> no criticism. No, no, criticism. no, no, no. We criticism. love Mike, absolutely no, 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 love no. But one thing that the men do like is to apparently according to this uh, guy Salon, um, Bruce Salon, is they like to be, uh, buy the big things. Oh. So if it's a TV or a car or something like that, <laughs> and then of course they'll check out the date and the mileage and, and you know, on Google, you know, what kind of rating it has. So that's kind of interesting. And that's mm -hmm. also nice because I find that a little more complex. You know, like oh, yeah. if, when Kurt bought our car, it's like he had already gone and seen the rate. I'm going, oh no, just give me a nice car. You know, it <laughs> smell what new. Color is it? it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what colour is it exactly? Oh yes. Oh, that's a nice colour. I oh, know. Oh, no. um, uh, so, so yes. So, um, so I think that that is the thing. And men are very good at buying things we need, aren't they? Here's an iron for Christmas, darling. <laughs> really? You bought me an iron for Christmas? Well. And I do. You know, it's reminded me. I, I um. I uh, have a, a lovely friend in my life, and I emailed her husband and said, you know, I really want to buy a present, what should I get? He said, whatever you want, we'll be fine. Well, that's not helpful, <laughs> surely. <laughs> Give me a clue. You must know her. Uh, so, as, so both of you are church leaders. Mm -hmm. um, you are a leader of a church in Fungirola. And, of course, we know that you're the wave. Um, how do, do you think that this year... Um, and do you think we've done it in other years that we've really lost the main um, thing about Christmas? You know, have we really, you know, as we sit here and we were saying, I'm not quite sure who this gentleman was <laughs> or where he came in the Bible story. Um, 
<laughs> as much as we love him, yeah. and uh, we do really appreciate the joy and uh, the decoration and uh, the feeling of Christmas, and I think that's so important this year, probably more than any other year. Mm -hmm. um, but have we lost amongst that the real reason we celebrate Christmas, and how can we bring it back? Can I, can I say, I think we're really blessed here in Spain because we have the Belens. Mm. Oh, Everywhere yes. you go, there, there are nativity scenes. Well, it's not just nativity, is it? It's uh, the whole scene of Bethlehem, mm. I think, because I, I used to think, oh, that's more than just the nativity scene. So I do feel that, um, and we know it's very a very Catholic country, but I feel that Christmas, at least we know it's Christmas. We know what it's about. Yes. And they do have these banners as well, don't they, of Jesus as a baby hung up and things like this. So. I think um, in a lot of places, the whole, the whole thing of Christmas has been lost. But I do feel that here we are blessed that we have these, these scenes, constant reminders, and sometimes they're just in little shops, mm. aren't they? And they're lovely. Mm. And, um, and I think it gets the children's focus back on onto the, you know, what, what it's all about. Mm. So I think we're really blessed in that way. And I think as Christians, and it's up to us to make sure people do know. Yeah. Um, and if we can have carol services, you know, normally they're very popular, aren't they? And they're the time we can ask people who wouldn't normally go to church. And the words tell the story, don't they? Yes, they do, yeah. And, uh, and I think we, we just, uh, it, I think it's all of our jobs just to make sure people know what it's about. Mm. And can I just show you something? Please that, do. Uh, I always think it's a real time of, of creativity and it's a time when people are more open to receive things so i'm i'm going to give lots of these out this this year we've, we've done this in our church in uh, chester before now so if i can get it open um it so it's just a little yeah. it looks really sealed <laughs> yeah. in there I I know, obviously a woman of, wrapped that yeah. sorry i don't have scissors in my bag <laughs> i only put one piece of sellotape on it but honestly so in spain but you can do this with chocolates whatever uh, we have these special biscuits Yes. And did you know with these biscuits that you're supposed to crunch them? And then they're not all dry and flaky. Did you know that? I didn't know I that, didn't no. Know that Are they pulled by the What kind of biscuits are You know, they're the, the, the Spanish biscuits. I mean, oh. if you just open them, they're very, really crumbly. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, but yes. apparently, if you do that, they all mix together in the butter. And anything. That's just by the bag. So a few, one of those or a few chocolates and uh, a tract. And I've got these, I've got these in I like English. Those. those are lovely. And I've, I've ordered some in Spanish. Oh. So this year, I'm going to go give these out to whenever we're in a cafe, or you could get it to a supermarket. Yep. excellent. And I just think it's su such a good time. I think it's a wonderful time to give things out that people wouldn't normally, you know, they mm. wouldn't normally want to see. Yes. And we just pray, I think some, someone mentioned before, praying over them before yeah. you give them out. And just bless people. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's a thank you as well for their services, but we just pray that they will read this and, and it, um, a seed will be sown. Mm. Yeah. So I think Christmas is a wonderful time. We know it's not the time when Jesus was born. We know uh, things have certainly gone off, <laughs> off yeah. the main thing, but we can we can bring people's focus back to what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. So as, a, as a Christian, and you I are real tough. And I, and I think that's um, a lovely thing to do. And I mean, it was something that I was going to ask is, you know, as the gift givers, if we are the gift givers, mm. you know, not only to our families and our loved ones, you know, giving a gift like that is so important. Mm. And I didn't see, perhaps you can just hold it up to the oh, camera yeah. a little bit. Um, yeah, you sorry. know which one is your yeah, camera. Yeah. You know, that actually that is a very... Um, yeah, it opens out. It's um, the heart. God loves us. We've all sinned. Jesus died to take away our sins. What are you going to do about it? And on the back, it goes into far more detail. And but where do you get those from? Uh, well, it's a, it's a web. There is a website, Four Points website. Okay, all so, right. So uh, a friend of ours brought loads of these back in English, but I've actually just ordered some in Spanish. Lovely. Because uh, I feel you know we really need to, especially at the mo at this time. Well, we I was really going to say. Reach out. Yeah. I was going to say this year has been such yeah. a, a confusing year for everybody. 
I think more people are searching rather than you're. Um, I know that you're a great evangelist because whenever I go out for dinner with you, <laughs> <laughs> you used to be evangelised to the waitress and the chef and yeah. the barmaid and anybody else, which is great. Well, yeah. I was going to answer your question. Oh, you know, um, the yeah. same question that you you asked Edith, but she she took it on a different way. But I wanted to bring it back mm -hmm. to the male female thing about uh, uh, about Christmas yeah. and also. Um, how we facilitate that, bringing Jesus back into the middle of everything um, in our homes. Because I know as women, we can get very caught up with the details and then, mm. oh, the turkey, and oh, it's not getting around, or who's coming, and we can get very caught up with that. And then we, we actually create a spirit of confusion instead of a spirit of peace, where mm. now the man can actually take his place and say, okay, right, we're gonna read this scripture, this beautiful yes. scripture. We're gonna bring mm. Jesus into the center of it. Because sometimes the whole day, can just be consumed with everything that's happening. Yeah, and Jesus is like true. going, hey, wasn't that my birthday you're celebrating? <laughs> yes, you know, so I, I, I think as women, understanding our men, because mm. we were talking about Christmas and the differences oh, between men and women, I think as women, because we're detailed, I think we have the most, and, and we're intuitive, okay. I think we have the privilege of being able to facilitate for our husbands or the men in our lives to be who they have been called to be. And especially when we're doing mm. these major celebrations like Christmas mm, yeah. or, you know, you know, having a family culture or rituals and routines that we kind of just embrace for our particular family that means something that our kids mm. grow up in, our, our grandchildren grow up in. And if we are insensitive, we will not include the men. And they need to have, you know, they need to have their part, which gives them, you mm. know, the, the expression of their faith and that others can see that expression. That's Otherwise, we are, because remember, it's, uh, how I, did I write it down? I didn't think I'd write it down, but I, I, the, the, the amount of words women have compared to men, oh, yes. you know, it's kind of 12,000 to 48,000 or something ridiculous, <laughs> you know? So I think we underestimate the way that we, we have this great flow between the, the hemispheres and we can just whoop, yeah. you know? Mm. But whereas men have, mostly men, I'm not just going to say all men, <laughs> They, they have this difficulty and we just can't, we, we can't wait for them to think mm. it through and mm. then tell us or whatever the case is. Mm. So I think we have to be, I think as women, yeah. godly women, I think this is one of the things where we have to show the fruit of the spirit. We have yeah. to have that patience. That's we have yes. to have that, okay, he's going to say something and I'm not going to cut him off and I'm not <laughs> going to <laughs> explain what he's trying to say. Yeah. And yeah. we uh, we did a program earlier on this year about love languages, which oh, yeah. I know, yes, which excellent. I think is really imp and that's what I think I was saying. As much as we you know joke, and I mm. think it's healthy to Very. to realise that actually we are different and that we do things in different way, mm. but also to you know in especially in a marriage relationship or in a church relationship or whatever, to respect or you know, in any relationship yeah. to respect who the other party is. So. Mm. You know, men want. Uh, you know, men probably don't like to hear the whole story about when Jenny came over and she gave me this and it was pink. <laughs> they are going to love you, Ducky. <laughs> you're going to get some fan mail now. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> but you know, at the same time, if they, if they, if that's our love language, their love language is to, you know, be patient with us and listen to the whole story and nod and whatever. <laughs> and then on the other hand, we have to accept that, you know, we get an iron for Christmas occasionally. And if it's wrapped funnily, we should just say, oh, thank you, darling. I don't know quite what that means, <laughs> but anyway, there we go. So yes, I think yeah. it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think we can do to talk to other people about Christmas? I mean, do, we, do you do something like this or you, because I, I know you and I know that yeah, everywhere yeah. you go, you share the Lord, as do you. Yeah. Um, you know, is there anything that you would say to our lady viewers or our men yeah. viewers? Is there anything special this Christmas that we can do? Well, I, I think that if, we, if we're looking at the differences between men and women, mm. each one is going to have a different way. Yes. Mm. So say the man is a golfer, whatever the case is. I think that just ha having an awareness of bringing the conversation open yes. and being respectful to the other person and then saying, oh, well, you know, what do you and your family do? And if, you, if they can open the conversation to a non-believer without any judgment, without any, oh, well, you don't even go to church kind of thing. Mm, if we, if yes. we can have that kind of like everybody's made in the image of God, mm. but we all need saving. Yes. And some of us have been saved and some of us on our way to being saved. Yeah. And, and it's just, I feel, to facilitate that. So if that answers part of that for the male thing. But for the female thing, we do a different thing. We could actually ask somebody out for coffee. Yes. We could make a phone call. We can ask yeah. if we can help 
help in any way, um, especially during the times of COVID. There's an yeah. absolute open door for, for Jesus to come in, for the gospel message, because if we're not religious, yes. people are gonna be open to somebody to love them because mm -hmm. that's what Jesus mm -hmm. did. He loved, he didn't yes. condemn, he loved. I love the story of Zacchaeus, you know, I'm coming down, come, come down, I'm coming to your house. Yeah. Not, oh, you've cheated all these people and you know, you're such a bad boy. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can just get away, get, get rid of the religion mm -hmm. yeah. and we can actually remember who Jesus is and how he did things, yeah. I think that if we can emulate him, mm. either as a male doing Christmas or as a female doing Christmas, yeah. whatever it is, but not looking at another person and criticizing them for how they do it. Yes. You know, you might want to give, yeah. you know, yeah. out, out tracks or whatever. I might want to just yeah. talk to somebody and hear that they love Buddha or they love somebody else and go, wow, well, what are the good points about Buddha? Yeah. You know, mm. let's look, you know, at the good points and then come on to Jesus. Yeah. 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 Well, oh, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. We must, you know, love each other and uh, just um, mm -hmm. remembering that, you know, in Corinthians it says, you know, we can have everything, mm -hmm. but without love we have nothing. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I love that the four points. I love the fact that you are, um, you know, meeting with people as I know you are and we all mm -hmm. are. And, you know, I always remind, I think that this is really always the central message of my heart is that all of us can make a difference. It doesn't matter if you just make a difference to one person or a hundred or a thousand mm. people mm. and you don't know what your kind gesture will open the door for and especially at Christmas and um, you know we don't want to be um, over religious we want people to know that we're Christians of course and mm. that we love the Lord but mm. in a loving and a wonderful way and I think that that's um, so important uh, join us on the next program we'll be talking about how we as women uh, can bring our unique gifts not to put down our lovely men who we adore <laughs> Um, but just to you know think about and perhaps if you're a man you'd like to write in and tell us how do you how does your woman or your women bless you in your life and I just want to read this email from Dawn and we'll carry on reading emails in the next program but she wrote in and she said hello ladies concerning past Christmas gifts I received a tea towel with a dad's army theme <laughs> one year saying don't panic it's only the washing up <laughs> and an apron for cooking. Should have given him some ideas that year. Many <laughs> blessings from Dawn. And uh, I will, uh, I'll get back to the other email, which is from a lovely gentleman. So let us know. Live at revelationtv.com or you can email in to info. It's been lovely to be with you. Melanie, thank you so much for thank being you. with it's us. Thank you, it's been delightful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I know that you're going to be with us for the next programme. We'll be sharing about the uniqueness of uh, women. Let us know what you're doing this Christmas and uh, we've got some wonderful television on Revelation TV so encourage your neighbours and your friends to keep on watching Revelation TV this Christmas and I know that they'll be blessed and get to know more about the Lord and we'll see you next time. God bless you.